I'm showing you how to get Rise Client for 1.21. To get Rise Client, you want to join my Discord server, which is going to be linked down in the description below. Here you want to find the Bedrock category, and then in the Rise channel over here, you will find the download for the DLL, which you can simply download just like that. Anyways, as you can see in my Discord server, all of these other channels here are unique clients, uh, and so this is definitely not a bad place to be. So now as you can see, I have Rise Client in my downloads. Now because this is just a DLL file, you'll need an injector to put this inside of Minecraft. I highly recommend Fade Client Injector. It's my personal favorite. Um, if you don't have it yet, or you're not sure where to get it, I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, here I can just select a DLL file and then click on Inject right over there, and that is going to inject it into Minecraft. As you can see, I am logged in uh, by default. You, however, may not be. Uh, there, there's going to be a black thing on your screen over here, and it's going to tell you to log in for the username and password. Wait and watch till the end of the video. Nah, no, just kidding. I'm not like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to tell you those right now. There's really no reason for this to be behind a wall like that. Anyways, in your roaming state, um, there's going to be an authentication file, and this is going to contain the exact things. So if you're unable to type them in, uh, inside of Minecraft, then you can also head over to this file over here. Anyways, the username is Jordan, and oh dear, the part I was scared of. Well, the password, let's just say it's a word that uh, starts with the letter N. I have no idea why the person called Jordan made the password this, but um, Yippee! Okay, so now once you've done that, uh, you have logged in to Rise Client right over here, which is obviously fantastic. And now um, I will head into a Minecraft world and show you what this is all about. It's not about a whole bunch, to be honest, uh, but people kept asking me to make a video on this, mainly for the username and password, uh, and uh, now I have done that. So, um, yeah, this is basically something called an Apollo Client skid. Uh, very cool, using the exact same code code source and base as uh, apollo client as shadow client uh they're very interesting it, because it's apollo client we have the notorious hand again i swear to god i'm not gonna do it this time all right so for the rest uh this client is basically as i said a, a, a skit of that if you want a full tutorial on how to use it i'll link that in the description or something but basically you can press on the insert key on your keyboard uh, and that is going to open up this area it's the click gui we all know and love uh really easy to use but the descriptions right clicking on it gives you this clicking on it turns it on clicking on it once again turns it off there's a few things over here um it's very similar to Shadow, except, of course, a few things have changed. There's no high fly over here, which the high fly was broken anyways. There's no search bar over here. The search bar was bugged um, in Shadow Client. So basically, as I said, very, very similar. Um, all of that stuff. I'm pretty sure the IRC does not work on these clients, uh, but you'll have to try that out for yourself. I'm too scared to press it. Um, for the rest, really sorry about the uh, password. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing I could do about that. Um, also, if you're not P. Diddy, I recommend turning off the server rotations. That will put your hand right back to normal. Anyways, as I was saying, that was basically that. Any questions or the like can be left down in the comments below. I'll make sure to read through those, answer any of those client requests. Leave those down there too. Um, and for right now, basically, that was that. Thank you ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.